hi everyone so next thing we are going to discuss about is type ORM entities and type ORM migrations right so we'll talk about how you define the entities how you define the relationship how you trigger the migrations how you create new migration how you run the migration how you synchronize the, the entities into the database tables okay so for that we are using the same example what we need is uh, we need one type ORM config one orm config.ts which we can have at the root this orm config is just talking about okay at which particular directory your entities are where what is your migration directory so in source i will create one migration folder there we will keep our migrations src app domain inside domain we can have our entities with the entity.tjs because it is the output it is first building the entities and then it is running the migrations on the entities because it is running the migrations on the dist folder dist src app domain migrations uh, should be on the src migrations src subscriber okay now we can actually populate some of the packages and definitions to run the migrations so we'll go to our package json here we don't have them so i will just try to populate them using type orm cli we will be running all those things test e2 i will explain what is these i mean you might have seen these in many projects type orm type orm cli generate run revert and sync right when you do these scripts when you run these scripts you already connected to the database and this is your orm config.ts so once you do the type orm cli because it uses the type orm cli it looks for your uh, this orm config which is in the root and it will check the definitions okay from in which directory migrations needs to be created okay so if i go to an console migrations generate i mean this is not the full command we need to also specify the the migration name right here we need to specify the name and the path so what we can do is i will try to see if it works i will go inside that uh, application cd apps and here we can do npm run what is the command migration generate and we need to specify the name i think okay this is create a new migration file options i forgot the it should be minus n let me just do the migration migrate command npm run migration run so what it does is it looks for your migration folders if there are any migrations created it will run them against the database npm run migration run what happens uh, type or a migration run minus cli.json runs all the migrations missing required argument data source okay so this is the change i think they have done in the type orm 3.0.0 okay so if i just see the type orm here next just type orm and it is 0.3.12 okay so i understood that we need to use clis with the different arguments i mean this uh, these are compatible with the 0.2.x that's why they are not we are not able to execute them okay so after looking here and there in the documentation i finally figured it out how we can do the migration in o.3 i mean obviously things had changed earlier we used to do a simple json of json file json object it used to return now it should be returning a data source we just have a simple variable and export that data source and what all argument it will have these you already know I mean, uh, you just need to pass these uh, options, name, entities, migrations, and subscribers. I mean, that is just a URL inside your source directory, migration, source, subscriber, 
and this type is postgres this is your data source it this orm config.ts should return the instance of the data source okay if it is doing it then our task is simple it is saying mean yes give me a second okay so we are inside this application and we are playing with the migrations right that is something new for me also but uh, because they have changed something so i will remove these files now i will start from scratch what i have done okay so what you need to do to enable the migrations first of all orm config.ts that should look like this and inside your package JSON, you need some scripts to generate uh, generate uh, create migrate or run the migrations right so this is what you need to add i will explain you a little bit more in with example what we are doing here is earlier the challenge is how to get this orm config how to pass this orm config to our scripts because now you need to pass this orm config and this orm config.ts should give you the data source object so i created this type orm script and then i can use this npm from type orm migration generate right so this is the prefix i have added to all the scripts right so migration generate migration show migration run migration revert so let's say if i try to do is npm run npm run here migration generate i think i need to pass the name so it is using this uh, generate command no changes in the database schema or found cannot generate a migration i am planning to create one first generate you will do is whenever there is a change in the database so it will create the migration and the strange thing is it so it is creating it is in the root so if i go to my orm config and um, i specified my migration folder is source migrations okay let me just delete this migration and let me create again I, th I see that it is creating these migration at two places so it's still a mystery okay created successfully this i specified the path source migrations okay it should be something like this Let me see is this the path is the issue or something else type rm apis inside we can create this file right okay so if i just specify dot ts dot js inside this it is creating the migrations but not in the directory which i'm looking for it is creating in the root that's uh, what i don't want so still not sure why it is creating it in the root i copied these migrations for now here and then i can just run the other commands package json migrations run show and revert create okay simply we already have seen the create is let's say the user stable right so it will create this migration i will move this to the my migrations folder and then i will run npm run migration run command i mean these migrations right now empty but you will be doing the up down statements and adding some migrations adding some code inside it and migration generate it is i mean no migrations file seeded there is nothing to execute no change in the database so you need to pass i think the name because we are generating the migration file okay no change in the database schema were found so you cannot generate a migration file so what we need to do is uh, there are multiple ways to create a migrations so first of all we can just use the sync true we can create our entities 
and in type ORM options so I will just remove these migrations for now and I will try to explain how I am doing it there are multiple ways of doing it so we already have this database module inside the packages right app database and here in the type ORM we are passing synchronize true what that means so here synchronize true means when you are changing the entity and you are running the application the changes in the entities should be reflected in your database but ideally for production it should be false so that whatever the change you do in the entity should not be reflected to your database directly i mean you can write your migrations you generate a migration file and you do it like this okay so first of all let's say i create a simple user table i will just enable migration true and here inside my application i will try to create an entity okay so we have a domain user user entity right so i will start this application this application is already started we already have this uh, table in the database i mean i can just start this again npm run start dev what it will do is it has already doc docker container running database connected so it will start the application for us now here you can see it is just checking the any changes if i just remove this what will happen is it will try to remove this column so i will try to show you the statement if i can fetch something but, uh, because it's alter statement on the database you can see here alter table users drop column address why because i removed it and this synchronization is true right now what i will do is another thing is let's say i will just change the synchronization to false in the package so go to your database package module synchronize false stop the application build the application so that we can see the changes coming from the package and then we'll start the application so it currently is, it should log but synchronize uh, is false logging is true sorry for the typo and what i will do is i can just rebuild this so synchronization is false now whatever you do the changes in the entity won't be reflected to the database directly because we are not synchronizing directly in that case we can generate the migration by manually by just by ourselves okay i added this particular column write the sql statement in the migration so ta -ta -ta, here we go to our application inside the entity so we have only one entity user user entity dot ts and here i will add this thing currently it should not be it would it would not be able to synchronize it because we are not uh, synchronizing it so npm run start dev so i i added this address column it will just start the other database right but uh, we don't have the address column so what i can do is i can try to run this command and try to see what happens so we'll go to the third application npm run go to the package json here migration generate so it should try to generate the migration by comparing the database so user change cannot generate migration to create an new empty migrations no change in the database schema found okay so let's do one thing synchronize true let's create the migration and we'll do it so the migration is been created we will move this to the migrations folder okay and here what you need to do is you need to write your sql statement because what column what table you are altering you are altering the users table put a proper name and here in the up down statement you can just add okay what is the 
your SQL statement and we can run this migration. So how to write a migration, right? So here we can do is await await query runner dot query and here we can write our SQL query. I will just say is alter table. What is the table name users or user? We need to check it that in the entity. Have domain user user entity the this is the the table name users okay come to our migrations alter table users add this is a plain sql plain postgres uh, sql alter table users add column what is the column name address this is json b null right this is what you will do in the up and statement in down is alt table users drop column address that's it so we have added a migrations how can we run this migration now this is the nullable column we can just use this migration run utility migration run so it should be able to run this migration is it running i, I don't see it migration run okay this is migration.ts file src app migrations forum config.ts migration run there is a strange problem either it is looking for the migrations at the root so i will do this like this i put this file on the root okay here also no migrations are pending that means it is not able to find the migrations okay so what we will do is go to orm config and i have specified that migrations are kept inside source migrations is it looking for inside the dist folder that also i can check i will remove the dist source migrations we'll do the build again npm run build or this may be the problem because i put this forward slash okay yeah that was the problem i put the forward slash that's really wrong and here you can see zero migration already loaded one migration were found in data source it is running from this folder okay i mean i know there is a one problem in this demo is the migrations are creating in the root that i will fix it but migrations are being run from this folder that is being expected running as expected okay nothing wrong and here uh, this is how you run the migration so you can create the other migrations let's say uh, create name is user alter migration create this has been created at the root that's uh, not quite right and here i can just say is users alter and i can do something like this this is the one way of uh, running the migrations i can just create another column and then i can drop it this is the way i'm doing it uh, since a long time or there is a reverse engineering is you do the synchronization let's say i'm just putting a data column data this is one way and here you just do a migration run so you got the the new migrations it executed it and everything is fine right now another way of uh, running the migration is that's the the my way of doing it uh, what i generally do is i on the local i allow users i allow myself to synchronize the database based on the entity change so this is app database source module synchronize true and then i will just build this I will build the database. I will build this package, so, sorry, application, and then I will just start this application again. And I can just do npm run start dev. What I'm going to do is we are just saying, okay, synchronize true. That means I allow you to synchronize the data whenever there is a change. So inside app domain we have the entity 
so the reverse engineering says is you create the entity you do the changes whatever you want to do let's say this is your final database right now i remove the columns it will drop both the columns address and data and data is already not there so it has removed it already drop column something like that okay now we have i will also show the database what is the current state so this is our current database right what i do is whenever first of all i create these uh, tables manually through the synchronization we can create any kind of table right i will do i will create another entity this is user entity let's say i'm creating address entity so user and here i will just say is user underscore and the table name is city unique false city state let's say this is user address table right now i'm doing a synchronized true so what will happen is it will try to read both the entities and it has created the other table which is user address let's see okay this means let me see okay this should have created the another table which we have i will restart this application npm run start dev okay we i'm not importing this entity sorry so what i need to do is in the user module user entity and then user address entity because until unless we don't consume it anywhere how can it be synchronized automatically so I'm, i need to pass this in the db module this is user module type rm dot feature if you want to consume it in your services otherwise inside the db module dot for root you need to pass it i am talking about uh, okay this is the client module here this is the, the module we have created right here you need to pass these entities now it should be able to create the address table right now i can also see that in the database user addresses has been created now this i have created locally now what i need to do is i want to do i want to push the code i need to create the migration for that right so i will just do is the export from sql i will export the sql and once you got the sql you can open that sql and see what the sql looks like right and you can put that sql inside your migration so that migration you can push it and your ci will execute that migration so what i need to do now is i will create a new migration so go to this application npm run what is the command go to package json npm run migration create name is user address it has been created successfully i will move this to here i got already the sql statement so await query runner dot query and i can put my sql statement and in the down statement i can just do is a so this is create right so if it is create then the another is drop table so here my sql will be we don't need to put public dot here you can see a drop table okay that is the another migration so if i if you try to create this run this migrations user address address is already there right create table if uh, not exists this you can do is so in that case if a table already exists it won't be creating it and there will be no migration failures so here we can say create table if not exist it will just execute this migration user addresses we already have migration created I, we just need to run it okay it executed it right 
I mean, obviously it didn't create this table. We already have this table. So what now migration contains? This is important. Migration is keeping the record of all the migrations which has been executed. So if you create a new migrations, how it will know that these migrations already loaded and this is the new one. I mean, this is a, like a default concept of how migrations are tracked across different ORMs. But this is how we do it with the type ORM. And there is a slight change with the ORM type ORM 0.3. Otherwise, I already have a detailed sessions on the type ORM express how to play with the migrations. There is just uh, some tweaks here we are doing. Or you can also do the type ORM APIs. Here I'm playing with a SQL, right? Uh, what you can do is you can also do uh, something like type ORM APIs. So you, it's not like uh, you need to write the, the SQL. If I talk about something like this, this is one way. Here you are writing a SQL. You can also write some object classes. Let me see. Okay, I was talking about this. Right in SQL, this pattern was popular. What we are doing is, we are we are not writing SQL. We are just creating is okay. Create this table. We are specifying the columns. We are not familiar with the SQL and I'm just writing object classes. Okay, I'm calling this table class and passing these parameters, creating the index, creating the another table, specifying the relationships. All these things can happen through this APIs also. But I don't, I'm not using it because I see lots of issues uh, running here and there on this. So I'm just writing a plain SQL that is satisfying my need of having a okay, couple of five, six tables and write, managing the migrations there. Otherwise, this is also a one way of uh, creating the migrations where you can drop. This is the down statement. So you'll be dropping the foreign key, column, table, dropping the index, dropping the table. And here you will be using add column, create table, create index, all these APIs. So you can explore this more and uh, can adopt any, any, any one of these the same way you need to just create a migration file. This is also doing the same using query runner interface. We are doing query runner dot query here. We are doing query runner dot create table. That's the difference.